I don't think any of these guys say anything. A beautiful day for battle. Fear not, Excellency. We're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer to the joust verbally the... or with a pen, the emissary of peace that I am. Hogwash! Let's see. Grains of his foes. The emperor <laughs> guy doing is just like you. No what? What? <laughs> conquering over a dozen sovereign realms. Thus bringing them laws, culture, and peace for her. Alright, let's go talk to them. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae <laughs> two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, your grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this <laughs> live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency. I plan to leave the royal court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenner and during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sadel. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. I like those little glasses that guy has. I want one of those. I'd, I'd wear those. <laughs> if I needed glasses. I do need glasses, but I would totally wear those over there. When you meet new people, you want to go into your menu and uh, uh, go through your inventory, which is the LT or the RT buttons. Um, and take you to the this part no yeah that part right here and uh, you see there's little bios on everybody and the, the really really cool thing about this game is that uh, and, and I think I think this is how the Witcher 1 was too but I, I'm only speaking for this one because I haven't played the Witcher 1 but um, the person that's writing this, look at look at what, what it says. I found it kind of weird at first. I thought it was, I thought this was, like a journal that that Geralt was was composing, but it's not. Behold, our hero, subjected to mutations and rigorous, he has become. So, and then it, look at the bottom. It says, is he a good man? I don't think so. So somebody's writing this, and I was like, it's not Geralt. So who is it? It's Dandelion. Dandelion is the character that was introduced in the games, I mean in the books, and Dandelion is my favorite character of the books. He's absolutely hilarious, and he is Geralt's best friend. He's a troubadour, uh, or a bard, so he, he goes around uh, playing the lute and singing, and he's so funny, um, and so when I saw that he's the one that's pretty much, you know, quote unquote, writing this, I thought that was absolutely awesome. Um, so see how you uh, you could see that it's dandelion because it says yet yeah, I cannot shirk uh, the duty in an effort to preempt any accusation blah 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 I shall set down the humblest of notes re uh, relating only to the best known facts dandelion in reality the viscount and then he speaks you know not in first person anymore but in third person about himself but I thought that was really really cool.
But yeah, he's he he does come out in the first in the first game, and he comes out in this game, and he is Geralt's best friend. The only thing that I kind of have regrets, or not regrets, but I was kind of disappointed about with this whole dandelion thing is I was really looking forward to, d to seeing dandelion in the game and when he does come out he comes out shortly afterwards uh, he was he's completely different from the books he, he's completely different and I, I don't really mind how he looks he I was like okay whatever but the way he talks the, the things he says just his antics are very very off in my opinion from the books um, he's very flamboyant in the books and by flamboyant I don't mean he's gay I'm just saying he's flamboyant like he's out there um, he's got this huge hat with a huge feather in it and he's it everything he, that comes out of his mouth is a joke uh, and he has no he, he's completely blunt he has no uh, no um, uh, he doesn't really he can't. He doesn't really know when to shut up and any anything like that. And he's very different in the game. Um, but that was that was kind of a disappointment for me, just because I really, really loved the character. And I think if they had stuck more to the way he is in the books, he would have been an amazing character. He would have been really, really funny. Um, so yeah, you could go in here if you're feeling lost. Here's all your tutorials, uh, and then the characters helps. To kind of understand who, wh what you're dealing with and where you are, locations. This also helps. Um, all this whole thing right here, this whole little menu helps a lot. Um, it explains all this stuff. Uh, it explains all these formulas, all the everything. So I would look into this. Um, these are your 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 missions. Uh, the little star there is the one that you're tracking. You could track all these. Um, so yeah, and once you've completed them, it'll, you'll have a little green check around, uh, at, at the, where the little cross is. And if you didn't complete it, it's an, a red X. So you want to try to complete all the quests. Because those, the quests are the ones that will give you the most XP, XP in this game. It's not fighting monsters or anything like that, it's completing quests. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when they're my children? If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Adder is dead. And I have no other children. I see. This conversation is over, Excellency. Please retire to your tent. Black ones in my camp before a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. Patrice Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? That guy that just walked off, he's a Nilfgaardian, and the Nilfgaard is uh, the southern countries, or the, southern's, the, the southern uh, continents of the world. And they were in a huge battle, that was what that whole thing was talking about for like six years ago, blah blah blah. The, the battle of the north of the northern kingdoms and Nilfgaardian or the Nilfgaard. Uh, they are Foltis is a king from the northern kingdoms and Nilfgaard is uh, in the southern kingdoms and they're mostly supported by uh, non-humans but or like elves like the Scoia'tael and this Nilf Nilfgaardian is like this guy that just walked off and that's why the king hates him is because he's from Nilfgaard but he's kind of like a representative uh no Ever, sire. I couldn't have handled it better myself. Ha! I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Adder no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? I'm not gonna tell him. Nothing new, sire. No. We don't know any more than we knew when we began. This investigation's going nowhere. My agents. 
have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits. It's just a question of time. Now for the battle. I want you at my side today. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! I like Foltus. I think he's pretty cool. What is going on up there? The gods count at you, Vary! Catch, Witcher. Aim for the rogue with the red plume. All right. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? I thought you were supposed to look for a red plume, but you don't. You have to look for the dude. That guy right there. So I was like, where's the red plume? And you don't see it anywhere, but you can see that guy right there. And you have to put it, the crosshairs right in the middle. One and a half degrees. <laughs> Did we hit the bastard? He's down. Ha! One less traitor. Time to attack. Follow me, Witcher. Yeah, boy. wanted to I hate this part you go you walk really slow you know Witcher I'm prepared to forgive Louisa all she need do is to kneel before her king very noble of you are you mocking me never mind I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes besides children should have a mother I'm lost it's quite simple Louisa and I had a bit of a tip she made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children. But they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped. A motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. <laughs> What Foltus was just talking about there is kind of explaining why the, this whole battle is going on. Louisa is the mother of his children, um, but you find out later on it's oh, they're all laughing. They're like, "Oh my god!" You find out later on that it's kind of different. Oh wait, thank you. <laughs> Okay, this is time for some fighting. I'll show you guys. If you press A, A is is not a strong attack. Um, it's kind of average. Oh, never mind. That tower was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything. It's that the highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. The assault. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. Arian Lavalette is uh, the older son of Louisa. Not Foltis, but just Louisa. 